Hey everyone, welcome back to another objective review. Today, I'd like to talk about live collaboration in the new iWork apps. Now to begin with, this feature is available in the numbers, keynotes and pages apps. It works the same way everywhere. So we're just going to use numbers as an example. Well, you can toggle the right hand sidebar from the rightmost top icon and select collaborate with others. Once you tap on that, you're going to get a screen that talks about how this is a beta feature. But so far, I haven't experienced anything that should tell that it is still a beta thing. It works absolutely well. Once you're done with all that, the model is going to present you ways to share this document with someone else so you can start collaborating. You can use iMessages, emails, Facebook, Twitter or any other sharing option that comes up in there depending on the apps you have installed. And once that is done, the other person gets the link and they can immediately start collaborating with you as long as they also have the latest version of these iWorks apps installed. Once the person on the other end opens the document on one of their devices, Numbers is going to assign them a specific color that it's going to use throughout the interface to tell you which cell they've selected or which cell they are editing or whatever else they are doing and this color is always going to be specific to that user. You can always check this by tapping the second rightmost icon in the top right in the navigation bar. Now although Apple says this is in beta, it has worked pretty well across all the three apps. Uh, I've tried it in pages with about five people collaborating on the same document and it works really really well now although we all were in the same room with the same type of mobile connectivity well it still works pretty darn fast and i've got to give it to apple for making it work so cohesively now all the other apps that i've tried that say they have live collaboration well it isn't as real time as this gets one thing that you should notice, however, is that the colors are going to be different for uh, the each individual's iCloud accounts. So as you can see on my primary iPad Pro, my brother's iPad is shown with a purple rectangle and for him it's he is blue and then I am blue on my iPad and I am yellow on his iPad. So it can get a little confusing if you're comparing with your iPads side by side. So always remember you can check who's who by tapping on the uh, second rightmost icon in the navigation bar. Now also while you're there you can manually tweak if the people you're sharing with are only allowed to view or if they can make changes as well. You can also control this uh, on a per user level basis. So if you tap on the disclosure button next to their name, well it's going to take you to similar settings where you can change if they should be able to view or also edit. Now you can also set a master password for the entire document which you'll have to share with these people you're collaborating with. So there's always that. Well that's a quick roundup about how to get up and running using live collaboration with the new iWork apps. Well if you like this review, hit the like button. If you disliked it, you know what to do. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers!